Hey everybody, welcome back. Delta Blade Gaming here with another PlayStation demo disc. We appear to still be underwater for this theme, I guess you could call it. Wonder if they're going to continue going on like this for. Hopefully, it's not all the demos that I've got. Because that would kind of be annoying. And a little cheap. And... Shoom. Boom. Official PlayStation Magazine. All right, let's see what we got. Legend of the Goon, MLB 2001, Star Trek Invasion, Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2, Mr. Driller, <coughs> Star Wars Jedi Power Battles, Tetsu 2, Covert Ops. I think that was a demo. All right, let's play a little baseball real quick. <coughs> Pretty much, it's baseball. Play, I won't play a full, I don't know how long it's gonna be, but I won't play too much of it. Now, if it was, say, oh, what game was, oh, the MLB Slugfest? That was fun. It's not too bad graphics wise for you know PS1 baseball. Derek Jeter. Uh let's try. Great! Gotcha. He's gonna knock this one. Yep. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Nope. Uh oh. And that's gone. Damn it. Yeah. All right. Well, let me at least get my first out, and then I'll. Then I'll cut it. Roberto Alomar. I do not know what team he plays for. Or played for, even if he's uh, still... Seriously? Well, that's at least a triple. So... Yep, he's going for it, and... Oh! Gotcha! All right, now back to the main menu. Yeah, I mean, it's baseball, you know. Star Trek Invasion, let's check this guy out. So, it looks like it's a uh, space fighter flying sim kind of game.
Romulan combat group has launched a number of unprovoked attacks on Federation ships in the Zeria system near the neutral zone. A patrol force of 10 Valkyries will be dispatched to investigate. Each of you will fly in a two-ship formation and report any contact with Romulan vessels immediately. Roger that, Mr. Worf. Engage Romulan fighters. No, more vessels are decloaking. Whatever will we do? Of course they're not. <laughs> All right, they're preparing for combat, so let's prepare as well. Oh, four minutes. Let's see how long I can last. I just blew up one. What was that? Come back here. Oh, come on. If you to tell me what a Romulan was, unless you showed me what it was, I don't know. My dad used to watch a lot of Star Trek back in the day. Like, I don't think he was, like, a huge sci-fi nerd, but... I don't know, I think that was his, like, one exception. Like, like sci-fi. So watch Next Generation. Oh, 
Wait, what? This should fail. Was I supposed to get rid of all of them? The Romulans have proven to be. I think the timer ran out. Yeah, Captain Picard and Ambassador Worf. Huh. Two player missions, man high powered gun turrets. Over 30 weapons, wow! That's so many! Lock mode off. Coming summer 2000. Well, this is July's disc of 2000, so it had to have come out, I don't know, either in July or in September or August. Probably or towards the end of August. Oh, well. Next game. Tony Hawk Pro Skater 2! Yeah, I already know how to pretty much play. And because the fact that this game has a lot of copyright material. Oh my god, let me play. I have to do a little editing so that way I can not get a copyright strike. I think, if I remember, it's the... The demo was one of the contests. Like, contest levels. I think. Hopefully that wasn't enough to get a copyright strike. Alright, single session. Chad Muska, Bob Bernquist, Steve, there he is. There's Rodney Mullen. Apologies for my sniffles and a little. What? This morning. I can win a trip to the Summer 2000 X Games and meet Tony Hawk? Oh my god, I gotta try! And you all... I wonder how many times I'm gonna bail out pretty bad on this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it just doesn't sound the same without... Christ air! Ah. Yeah, it just doesn't sound the same without the music. Because the music for these games are really good. You know, that's what got me into some of the bands... I wouldn't say I'd still listen to now, but I listened to back in the day. Come on, yep, yep. Like it hurt. Yeah. Don't know what you're cheering for, but yeah. Over the low four. It's like a squeaky toy. seconds. Uh, 
And I did. Horribly. Wow, high score 40,000. All right, well, that was Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2, and it's also coming summer of 2000. Mr. Driller. Any button to drill. Previous back. Point removed. Right. Let's give this guy a shot. Quirkiest, coolest guy around. Really mighty drill. Fast paced puzzle action with three addictive modes. Learn it in a second. Be hooked for hours. Alright, time attack is all that's open. feet? That's not bad. Alright. This is Legend of Dragoon. And this is probably, I want to say, probably about the first two hours maybe into the game. <clears throat> the only reason why I am not playing the whole demo Mainly because of the fact that I'm already playing this game on a separate set. And this, I want to say it was actually yes. it was either this demo or it was the previous demo's trailer for it that got me interested in this game. Because it was a different type of RPG, and especially when it came to combat, because see for well, Shauna revive and recover I don't need that Shauna Shauna flat out sucks in this game run and skip venom now watch one. So all of your characters in the party, all the party members that you ever get in this game, except for Shauna, are the only ones that can do those, which are called additions. So basically, you could you learn how to like chain certain attacks together. And unfortunately, like I said, this is probably the first an hour or two into the game and because of the fact that it's a demo it changed from what it was originally like it was, you know they, they changed stuff up for the demo so that way you know it gets you kind of hooked so for example I can't reach him
the demo here lets me change into the Dragoon form, which in the game, I think maybe an hour later, uh, the main character, Dark, he's the one who first learns how to become the Dragoon. Those poison. Uh, this is a fun, challenging RPG. I won't lie. It's like you're limited on what you can carry. Like for your inventory, you have a, you have I think 30 slots for an inventory. Weapons, armor, and accessories. If I remember right, should I think it's unlimited. But I think it might be limited to, it might be capped at 255. Oh. And again, I apologize for the, the sniffles that I got going on right now. Gonna spam this. So either 190 or 200. Yeah, about 25. Oh, that's not bad. And in the beginning of the demo, uh, it it has this little like scrolling text that basically tells you what has been going on, you know, what your characters' names are, and what you guys are doing, and where you guys are because you escaped from a prison. So that takes care of, I want to say, roughly probably about the first, like, hour of the game. Yes! Double flash! And yeah, Mike, your characters don't really do much damage super early on. And if you saw that little yellow uh, triangle, it kind of helps to denote, like, denote, like, what your character or what your enemy's health is at the current moment. So I'll guard, and I can get uh, some health back. It doesn't cleanse me, as you saw right there. It doesn't cleanse me, but at least it gives me back some HP. And once I get... Heal back up for a little bit. Let's pop you back in. I can't remember when Shadow Worms the ability to be a Dragoon. I'm thinking it's like a good six. Hours in, maybe? Moonlight! Definitely waste your time getting rid of poison because, unlike other games, other RPGs, or some that I know that continue to get carry over, others get rid of. Legend of Dragoon, any status your character is inflicted with stays with you after the fight is over. So it can be a little annoying, especially when you're. You know, an area where, I don't know, poison or some other status effect might be a problem, and the nearest town doesn't sell, either doesn't have a healing item, like it doesn't have an item shop, or it doesn't sell, you know, uh, 
antidotes. I was trying to remember what the, what the cure for poison. Close. Damn, I can't make it to one ninety. Yeah, let's attack. I, I doubt it'll get rid of him. No, but. Hopefully flame shot will. That should be enough. Yep. Forces everybody back to their regular position. And go. Go. And that is the end of that fight. Indel's castle. is going to make a wrap on this PlayStation demo disc number 34 of July of 2000. The remaining video, the remaining games on this list were all uh, trailers. So I figured I'd at least show you some of the gameplay ones this time around. And this here is the first showing of what ha what the power of a dragoon is. She has no idea what happened. And we will later find out in Legend of Dragoon, and I will be doing a Let's Play of that eventually. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Please feel free to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing some of these little retro demos, and I will see you guys in the next video. See you next time.